James Webb Telescope just blew the minds of scientists across the world with its latest discovery, something so far away, so ancient, that it's rewriting what we thought we knew about time itself. That's splodge. There. Yeah, that's splodge here. So it's really probing basically the earliest structures we know in the universe. They've spotted a galaxy so distant, it's forcing experts to question the very foundations of physics itself. This isn't just another space headline. It's the kind of find that shakes up everything we've ever believed about the universe. Get this. Scientists are saying this might be the furthest glimpse back in time humanity has ever seen. Some even believe these mysterious galaxies could be older than our universe itself. That's right, older than time as we know it. And what one Nobel Prize winning scientist just revealed about this whole situation? It's flat out chilling. Here's the thing, when we stare deep into space, we're not just looking out, we're looking back. Every beam of light we catch took billions of years to reach us. So, we're seeing cosmic history play out right before our eyes. Imagine this. When we look at something that's one light year away, we're literally seeing it as it was a year ago. Now stretch that to 13 billion light years, and you're peering into the dawn of everything. For decades, astronomers have used the most powerful telescopes ever built to piece together what the early universe looked like. Thanks to those observations, they built what's known as the Standard Model of Cosmology, a cosmic timeline showing how everything evolved through the ages. Look over 13 billion light years away, and you're staring straight into what scientists call the Dark Ages. Back then, the universe was cloaked in dense clouds of hydrogen gas, silent and unseen, waiting for the first stars to ignite. According to our best models, if we could somehow push our gaze all the way to 13.8 billion light years, the very edge of what's observable, we'd hit the Big Bang itself, the supposed beginning of everything. Scientists long believed that, in that first unimaginable moment, the entire universe was crushed into a single, infinitely dense point a singularity. But here's the kicker. No one actually knows what that looked like because the laws of physics completely break down there. It's like the universe itself hides its own birth. That's always been the story, or so we thought. But James Webb just turned that story on its head. Its recent discoveries are suggesting something wild. That maybe the Big Bang wasn't truly the beginning. There could have been an entire cosmic era before it. Think about that. A whole universe before ours, hiding in plain sight. When scientists compared new web data to past discoveries, the shock was instant. Take a look. Before Webb, GNZ 11 held the record as the most distant galaxy ever found. That alone was historic. But when Webb's early data dropped, it didn't just beat that record, it obliterated it. The telescope revealed galaxy after galaxy sitting way farther out than anyone thought possible. And that's when panic and fascination set in. If galaxies existed before the supposed beginning, then maybe the Big Bang wasn't the start after all. The, the, according to that model, some of these, m these objects they're seeing from the early universe are too massive. They'd have too many stars in them. It doesn't have make time to make to become that massive. Maybe it, well, all, be, of the, right. all of the all of the ordinary matter of the universe would have had to go cycle. into these things, what and that James just doesn't Webb make sense. You don't have enough right ordinary matter to produce that many stars. See the universe. <laughs> it might rewrite time itself. What completely blew scientists away was that some of these galaxies weren't just far; they were impossibly far. Webb was spotting galaxies beyond anything previously thought possible, beyond redshift 14. That number might sound technical, but in astronomy. It's jaw-dropping. After running intense spectroscopic tests, those precise measurements that confirm exactly how distant a galaxy really is, the data came in, and the results were unreal. Right now, the most distant confirmed galaxies ever recorded are known as MOMZ-14 Jades, GSZ-14, and GSZ-13. But MOMZ-14? That one takes the crown. It sits at a staggering redshift of 14.4. That means we're seeing this galaxy as it was when the universe was only about 280 million years old. A baby universe, still forming its very first stars. 
Can you even imagine that? And it doesn't stop there. Astronomers have spotted even more candidates. Galaxies with redshifts possibly reaching 16. If those numbers get confirmed, they'll blow apart our current models of how the universe was born and how it grew. The very framework of cosmology could be on the verge of collapse. But here's the wildest part. The deeper the James Webb telescope looks, the more galaxies it finds. It's like the cosmos just keeps opening up layer after layer of hidden history. Every new data set, every single image Webb beams back keeps smashing the old records to dust. Scientists are losing track of how many most distant galaxy ever titles have been broken since Webb started scanning the sky. Recent Webb data took things to a whole new level. It uncovered galaxies with redshifts between 17 and 20, reaching deeper into the past than ever before. And if that wasn't shocking enough, Webb spotted six galaxies at redshift 17, three between 24 and 25, and one absolutely mind-blowing galaxy at a record-shattering redshift of 32. That's nearly 98 million years after the Big Bang. It's like finding skyscrapers standing tall in a city that shouldn't even exist yet. If that galaxy at Redshift 32 truly exists, it's a direct challenge to everything we thought we knew about cosmology. Astronomer Perez Gonzalez summed it up perfectly. These are the deepest observations Webb has ever made, the deepest by a factor of a few. If these light sources really are that far away, it means the early universe was buzzing with activity in its first 200 million years, far more chaotic and alive than anyone imagined. But according to the standard model, that era should have been silent. The first 100 million years after the Big Bang were supposed to be completely dark. No stars, no galaxies, no light at all. Astronomers even call it the Cosmic Dark Age. Just a vast, cold stretch of empty space slowly cooling off after the fiery chaos of creation. And yet, Webb keeps finding light where there shouldn't be any. Something about our understanding of the universe is way off, and that mystery has scientists on edge. Invisible dark matter, the mysterious substance that makes up most of the universe's mass, started pulling itself together long before anything ever shined. Gravity gathered it into massive clumps, creating invisible scaffolding for everything that would come later. Back then, the universe was completely dark. No stars, no galaxies, no glowing light of any kind. It was pure emptiness preparing for something extraordinary. The stage was set, but the lights hadn't turned on yet. This silent era was when the raw ingredients of creation were quietly assembling, the foundation stones of stars and galaxies forming in secret. No one expected that we'd ever see this stage. But then the James Webb Telescope came along and flipped the script completely, because Webb has been spotting fully formed galaxies right inside this supposedly starless zone, and even beyond it. How could that be possible? That's not just a small error. It's a direct hit to the heart of modern cosmology. The latest shock came when Webb detected a galaxy sitting at an impossible redshift of 32 meaning it existed just 98 million years after the Big Bang. That discovery shattered every timeline scientists believed in. According to the standard model, galaxies shouldn't even exist that soon after the beginning. The math doesn't add up, and that has every cosmologist scratching their head. If these galaxies are truly there, it means something insane. Under our current theories, they would have had to form before the Big Bang itself. That's right before the supposed start of everything, which makes no sense at all. Unless our entire idea of the universe's origin is wrong. And just when you think it can't get any wilder, there's another twist. Webb may have found the first real signs of a primordial black hole, not one created by dying stars, but one that might have existed before the universe even began. Let that sink in. Now, here's where it gets cosmic. Nobel Prize winning scientists are saying this could be the smoking gun. That our universe wasn't the first one to exist. The legendary physicist Roger Penrose had actually predicted something like this long ago. He believed the universe runs in endless cycles. A cosmic loop, where one universe fades away and a new one rises from its ashes. 
In his theory, the radiation left behind by ancient black holes doesn't vanish. It carries information across time, seeding the birth of a new cosmos. Which means, the Big Bang wasn't the beginning at all. It was just our turn in an infinite chain of universes. So if Penrose was right, what Webb is seeing isn't just deep space. It's the ghost of a universe that lived before ours. Now here's where things get even more mind-bending. A groundbreaking theory known as information wells and the rise of primordial black holes in what scientists are calling a cyclic quantum universe is pushing the boundaries of everything we thought we knew. According to this bold new research, the universe didn't just explode once in a single unique Big Bang, it's been bouncing over and over again through eternity. Imagine that. Instead of one grand beginning, the universe expands, collapses, and then rebounds. An endless loop of cosmic rebirth. And here's the twist. When the old universe collapses, it doesn't vanish without a trace. It leaves behind subtle imprints, known as information wells. These are like ghostly fingerprints from a past cosmos, holding data that might have survived across cycles of time. From these ancient imprints, Scientists believe tiny but unbelievably dense primordial black holes could form. Objects so powerful they might literally be fossils from a universe that existed before ours. Now brace yourself, because the James Webb Telescope may have just caught their first signs. The data shows possible evidence of these ancient black hole candidates scattered through the early universe. But they're not the monster black holes sitting in galaxy centers today. No, these are far smaller, older and eerily ancient, almost as if they've been here since before time began. And here's what's making scientists' jaws drop. Under the standard Big Bang model, these black holes simply shouldn't exist. There wasn't enough time for anything that dense to form so early. But the cyclic universe theory changes everything. If it's correct, then these black holes might not be new at all. They could be leftovers from the memory of a previous universe, carried forward through the great cosmic bounce into ours. That means every one of these primordial black holes James Webb spots could be an echo, a clue that our cosmos isn't the first, and maybe not the last. Just think about it. We might be surrounded by relics of a universe long gone, whispering across billions of years. The deeper scientists dig, the stranger the universe becomes. Could something huge be missing from our standard cosmological models? Are we completely wrong about how everything began? Maybe the Big Bang wasn't the start at all. Maybe the universe has no beginning and no end. It's eternal, looping through creation and collapse forever. Whatever the truth is, one thing's for sure. The quest to understand the cosmos just got a whole lot wilder. Scientists are chasing bold, daring ideas that could completely rewrite how we see existence itself. If this blew your mind and you love diving into the mysteries of space, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to stay tuned for more cosmic deep dives. You can also show love by clicking super thanks or grabbing one of our awesome Cosmic Vault t-shirts from the merch store. Thanks for watching, and a huge shout out to our amazing channel members for keeping this journey alive. See you in the next one.